welcome back to my channel and today I'm filming my Briar Fest 2022 haul video. So let's get started with my little knickknacks and other things I picked up around the park. Over here is my Briar Fest program along with my ticket books, my name tags, there is a Briar bag under there, uh, a few little pamphlets from the horses around the park, some Briar books and a business card. I made this little pin at the Briar craft store. This pin, this neck rope, and the sticker were given to me at the social media meetup. This sticker came with one of the models you'll be seeing shortly, and as well as a Brahmas pin. Moving on to my models, I picked up an emerald at the Clarion. I was really happy to find him. I've been looking for him for forever, and he was a really good price, so I definitely had to snatch him up. Up here, I have Spetzel, who is a lot prettier in person. His markings are super crisp, and his shading is really nice and dark, which I love. The promo pictures did not do him any justice. He is gorgeous. Over here is my signing model. He is assigned by a few different horse owners, but mostly by you guys. I was really surprised on how many people wanted to sign him and then wanted me to sign their models. But if you see your name on here, let me know. Over here is Nicholas who is a lot smaller than I originally thought he was going to be, but I am happy about as he does remind me a lot of Ida Kiss and Geronimo, but with him being a lot smaller, it definitely helps him stray away from being a slightly similar mold. Over here is the only limited edition model I picked up this year, which is Montanera, who was definitely my favorite horse um, this year. He is gorgeous, his nose is nice and pink, and his mane and tail mapping is really nice. Over here is um, one of the special ones I picked up this year. I pulled a Palomino Mars Pan, who I was really happy about. He is really dark in person, which I really love. You can see it on camera how dark he is, and he is just stunning. Over here. I have an Appaloosa surprise. I did originally pull the Wedgwood, but I did get him traded for this gorgeous guy. His modeling on his nose is so cute and I cannot wait to use him for photography because he's gonna be amazing. Over here, this guy was a pickup. This is Imperador. I have been looking for this guy for a while for a good price, but I could just never really bite the bullet. But when I saw this guy and he was available for Briar Fest pickups, I knew I had to have him. I definitely want to Congo this mold in the future, so I am glad I finally have him. Moving across the bed, we have Baron, who was definitely an impulse buy. I mainly got him because he's named after one of my horses, so he definitely had to come home with me. Over here is a Body Roxy that I got at the Clarion. He has a slightly re-sculpted head and ears, but he is so stinking cute and I couldn't come home from Briarfest without picking up some sort of Roxy, so here he is. And finally, the main jewel of my haul, I found a Bollywood Surprise Pentaloosa for an amazing deal. Like 120 bucks, I'm not joking. I was shocked when I found him, and I still can't believe that I do have this horse. Pentaloosas are my favorite, if y'all don't know, and this horse is just amazing. I cannot believe I own him. Now I'll give you a little overview of all of my models. I know my haul is quite small compared to others, but I am very happy with it and I cannot wait to put these ponies on my shelf. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!